All right, so this is the Boros Agro list that I built this morning. Um, before this, I had tried Liliana and a Chandra deck, and I did not like either one, and I ended up getting down to like 800 trophies from being one away from uh, gold. And then I built this, and I won five games in a row. Um, it doesn't really feel like you should win with this deck, but you end up just winning somehow anyway. Um, so how I built it, um, I'm not even running um, this card, and I'm not running this card either. Um, they just don't really fit in with the strategy that I'm trying to do. Um, so like giving a creature armor and then getting plus one plus one for the rest of the game seems good and it is good, but I'd rather just draw like an actual creature or something to something more proactive, I guess. Um, same thing with this. It adds a random creature that costs two or less to your hand. It's not specific enough to do exactly what I'm trying to do in this deck. This card's amazing, obviously. Um, has to be in there. Um, so for you that, did, for you that uh, don't know, uh, if you attack with three or more creatures, uh, Gideon comes out as a 4-4 and attacks. So I figured red is probably one of the best ways of enabling this. And for that reason, all the red creatures have haste. So I'm just gonna go from the top to the bottom again, like I did before. So if I wanna swing with almost impunity, I felt like flyers were a good way of uh, enabling Gideon and just being able to swing. You don't want to have just like a 1-1 one, one or a 2-1 that gets blocked and dies and then you stop proccing Gideon, right? So um, I went with a kind of a little flyer package. Just a good card right here. Uh, shields up, just lets your body stay around. You can get some favorable trades and proc Gideon more often. Um, not certain about this card. This card might come out I'm not really sure, but the first time it survives, it gets plus two, plus two. I might need more armor triggers for this card to be worth. Uh, I'm splashing red just so I can either top deck uh, haste creatures or, you know, just surprise them with haste creatures and bring out a Gideon and just swing for a lot more than maybe they're expecting. This is another part of the uh, flyer package. So just a two drop, one, three flyer. I'm just trying to poke them to bring out the Gideon and you know, it, it has a decent um, toughness. So it works really well with the deck. Um, the Devoted Steed I have in here just because it can go on um, the Lingering Spirits or the Griffin, um, you know, or just be able to get something big enough to where it either trades or maybe even trades favorably. It has armor, what more to say? Things that have armor stay around longer Proc Gideon. Uh, Chapelgeist, uh, uh, Chapelgeist, same thing, three drop, two, three flyer. I just want to swing with impunity as much as possible and trigger the Gideon. Um, two of these, um, they came in clutch a couple times. I don't know if it's necessary, it probably is. Um, you know, I feel like every deck just needs some kind of a removal spell. We already know what this is. Um, this card, I only have one of it. Um, I'm not sure if it makes it into like the final version once you have all the cards, but it's definitely not bad. You know, three drop, four, three gives you a creature that costs two or less. Um, Ball Lightning, this was like one of the main uh, appeals to this. So I ended up pulling uh, another one of these. Trample Haste, it just goes away at the end of the turn, but doesn't really matter. So I almost never play this on turn three. I, I haven't yet. Um, but, you know, it's just a lot of damage all of a sudden if, you know, you have two creatures and you summon this, you swing, and then Gideon comes out, that's 10 points that they were not expecting, six of which is uh, Trample. So, uh, just a lot of reach with that card. And then, just for simplicity, another 3 drop, 3-3 three, three with Haste. Again, helps trigger Gideon. This card I may not uh, keep in but I do uh, like it for now. I just don't have all the cards yet, but it seems like it's doing pretty well. Um, summon a soldier, so it's just a one, one soldier, but two bodies for one, makes it easy to prop Gideon. And this card needs to be increased to two for 100% uh, sure, but it uh, only have one, but um, on entry, sets all the health of all your opponent's creatures to one. So it makes the soldier that this gets, it makes this thing a threat, 
Um, so basically you can swing and then they can get favorable trades. So even if a lot of the stuff on the board goes away, they're not left with their board uh, as well. Um, so you're not just sitting there with, um, you know, they have more blockers for their next wave. And so you don't have to take so long to like set up again. So it's almost like a little uh, board wipe. So that's the deck. I'm going to hop in. I'm going to play a few games. Um, I just won uh, five straight, eight to nine hundred. So hopefully that um, that continues. All right, let's see what we get. I was hoping for Chandra because that's pretty much a free win because uh, the creatures with shield are just a nightmare for that deck. I have not versed a Raw yet. So he might have a lot of uh, removal and that doesn't seem great. But luckily it is damage based, so maybe that'll help. Hmm. I'm going first, so maybe this won't be so bad if I keep it. It's an honor to face you. Let's go. Hmm. That might have been a bad keep on my part. Maybe a little greedy. Everything's so squishy. Okay, if he wants to trade that, I'm completely fine. If he doesn't trade, he's gonna be sorry. Yeah. One spark. Okay. Well, we know what's happening here. We'll go right through them. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should have someone with the two one first. He probably wouldn't have blocked, and then I just summon the Minotaur and pass. But I mean, this way it does clear his board, I guess. But I would have gotten a Gideon proc next turn, unless he removes something, of course. So I don't like seeing two fours. That's not um, it's not what I want to see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do like this and pass, and then play next turn. Good. It says to opponent. I was hoping it didn't say to like anything. That'd be crazy though. Oh, I think I forgot to mention that I'm playing this land. Um, so starting on turn five, you have a chance to add a random white creature that costs two or less to your hand and gets plus one, plus one. Obviously very good in this deck. Mm. Here's a wild idea. It has been yeah, especially since I knew we had a lot of damage removal, I should have just mold. Finally. Oh my. Yeah, this matchup might be atrocious. I actually think it's correct to do this. Expecting some giant elemental any second now. Here's a wild idea. Energy level five charge. Pretty good. Does he have cheap spells to just go ahead and make this crazy? 
Yep. We'll go right through them. Smashy, smashy! We fight as one! Not really sure how this game's still going on. It looked like it was going really badly. Maybe not. Maybe he just runs out of steam. I don't know. <laughs> I definitely don't think that's the right play. Just like we practiced. Maybe he's got some kind of board wipe. Maybe he has another one of those. Okay, well he can still hit me with something. Because it's reduction by two, so it could be a... Uh, um, Whatever the one mana spell is, it does two. Uh, yeah, we're not blocking anything. There we go. See, that's what I'm saying. It feels like you shouldn't win, but you do. You know what? I quit. All right. So, I'm gonna go in for the probably the last game. See what happens. If I can win six in a row, that'd be really cool. Another roll. What is with uh, when I record these videos getting back to back uh, same walkers? I don't like that. It makes me wonder if there's some kind of like underlying matchmaking thing. I've played enough games that do that garbage. Hopefully this game doesn't though and it's just coincidence. I guess they're suffering from a bad connection. Mm. Okay. Maybe their connection is just terrible. That's not the same guy I just went up against, right? That's not why he scooped, is it? I don't think it was the same day. Okay, I mean, I guess that's technically six in a row. It's not how I wanted to get it, but sure. See what we get. Hope it's Chandra. That would be amazing. Gideon versus Vraska. Okay, Vraska. I've only versed, I think, one Vraska before. Maybe two. Welcome, distinguished guest. Okay, um... I think I'll keep those. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, and then Raging Goblin, hopefully with something else. Activate destroy friendly creature to draft a creature with finale and add it to your art. Okay, that's kind of like um, Alter of Despair from um, Elder Scrolls Legends. Should I take this? I feel like I should just take this opportunity to uh, play multiple guys here instead of the two drop, right? And the next turn is just going to be frontline paladin. Ouch. 
<laughs> okay, so he had removal regardless. Alright, so I can only play one thing, so I might as well play Steed and buff my Flyer. Okay, I am not sure what's happening. Maybe they just drew super clunky. Um, I think it's actually right in this instance to do this. Follow me to victory. I'll take just put more damage on the board as soon as possible. Well, we have an answer for that. Uh, no, I'm not getting rid of my shield for five damage. I don't care about. Go. And we're gonna do this. We fight as one. Four. <laughs> Just like we practiced. It's a shame that my flyer is gonna die next turn, and they're gonna gain three life when this dies, right? Yeah. Our duty to endure. Add an elf to your hand, and then give all creatures hand plus one plus one. And that guy looks sick. Um, I mean, I have to get through everything, right? So, holding back doesn't do anything. So basically, up for fourteen, and then to the block the free one. It has been an honor. Just like we practiced. I think the. Flyer is better. Life is unkind. See, and this is another game where it feels like I'm not gonna win. Is this guy mythic? He seems crazy. Okay, he is mythic. Heads up! This is a very cool day. Death is um, I think ball lightning is like my only shot here. Okay, again, I think I go fire. Let's give something a lasso too, okay. never gonna get this off am I why is he attacking with the five one just to add the elf Forward. my blade rests okay. Your take that. oof Yeah, this seems this seems really really bad. Um, I do think I do this to just have creatures to stick. Like old times. Remember your training. Don't see a reason to play this dirty shield yet. Heads up. Man. Just seeing it all. <laughs> all the removal. Uh, okay. I literally can't, but I have no way back in the game. Others will be the 
reporting for duty. Okay. So the four six can block the five four, and I could be at one. Man, yeah, this deck is just removal of the deck. Hammer time! Why? You're next. <laughs> yeah, even if I top deck the uh, lightning, it won't matter. Yeah, so. Not bad. Stand back, that everyone. Is a loss. Justice will prevail in All right, the end. so it did give me six wins for the loss, even though I don't know what the Raw was doing. But that seems like a terrible matchup. It feels great but yeah, that's a deck. It's super cheap. It's uh, super easy to play. There's not a lot of rares or mythics or anything like that in it. Um, a lot of the stuff actually comes base, so um, I just want to see where my trophies are at now. I'm still above, uh... Ready for oh, yeah. Okay, well, not sure what the next one's gonna be, but... Um, maybe Jace or, um... Maybe even Roll or something like that, but... Until then.